Hi. In this video, we'll be showing you how to use the Sage e-commerce bulk upload spreadsheet. We'll be covering merchandising simple products as well as complex products, i.e. products that have a size, color, make and model. Should you require further input, there are tooltips available at the end of each cell. The first product example we'll look at is the Sims Guide shirt. Let's have a look on the website page so we can see how the product is going to be visually displayed before we get started in the merchandising application. Points to note, the product's main image, product breadcrumbs, then we have the selector size and selector color variants. In the product tab on the merchandising spreadsheet, each main product needs to have a unique product ID. The name of the product will be the title. The image will be the main image that's displayed for this product. Please note that the image name needs to be identical to the image supplied to your website builder. Here's the product description, which is displayed over here. Then if we scroll further to the right, we can see that we can add additional images over here by listing the image name into an image gallery. This is the important step when setting up a complex product. Under the column DIM1, which stands for dimension name 1, we need to list the dimension name of size and then we'll create a second dimension name of color. These are the two options that are displayed over here, the size and color. So how do we set each product SKU code to a dimension? We can do so on the SKU tab over here. So in the SKU tab, we list every single SKU that we want to combine into the one product. If each SKU has a different color and would like to display a different image based on what color is selected, we can name the images over here. Here is the dimension field that we specified on the product tab. Size equates to large, medium, small, extra large, etc, etc. The second dimension is color, so we can specify that over here with graystone and khaki. If we have a third dimension, that value might be listed over here. It could be a material like nylon, ripstop, cotton, etc. Heading back off to the product tab. If we scroll further to the right, we'll see that we can also add a category path. This essentially places our product into the category of choice. Currently, our Sims guide shirt is going to live in the main category of clothing and also shirts Sims. Should we wish to add it in multiple categories, you may either use a vertical divider or press enter to create a new line break. This product will then be listed in multiple categories. The product SKU link tab over here is where we map all the SKU codes that we'd like to combine into the one product that we specified in the product tab. So SIM guide shirt is our main product ID. This will contain all of the following SKU codes, which we've added the color and size for. We'll now look at how to create a simple product. To define a simple product, let's look at the website example. Here we have a product and there are no further dimensions to choose from, example being size, color or fabric. As before, we need to create a product ID, give the product a name, associate the relevant product image name, give the product a description. Here you can see we do not add any additional dimensions. Let's head off to the SKU tab. You can essentially copy all this information from the products tab. The only original bit of information being the SKU code. So the name will stay the same and the product image will stay the same. You might want to specify a weight here if you're going to use weight based shipping as well. You can also see there's no dimension specified over here. Let's head off to the product SKU link. And as before, the product ID is connected to this product SKU code. Because there's only one SKU code linked to a unique product ID, there's only one product available to purchase. To send your images through to your website builder, you may either use Dropbox, WeTransfer or similar service. It's vital for the image name in the spreadsheet to correspond with the image you send through. If you feel like you need any further assistance, what we recommend that you do is upload 15 of your own products, send them through to your website builder, we'll vet the information and then we can proceed from there. This is to save yourself from having to redo large amounts of work on the spreadsheet.